Welcome to this video learning session. When you complete the session, you will be able to identify project tasks and create a work breakdown structure, or WBS for short. In this session, you'll learn about work breakdown structures and why they are important, how to create a work breakdown structure, and how to use Microsoft Project to display a work breakdown structure. A work breakdown structure is the starting point for any project. The structure includes task names, durations, predecessor tasks, and related information. You use a work breakdown structure to plan, manage, and report on a project. First, let's review two terms, tasks and milestones. A task is any work that has a beginning and an end and requires the use of company resources, such as people, time, or money. Tasks can be planned, tracked, and managed. Tasks might include conducting interviews, training employees, or testing job applicants. Projects also have events called milestones. A milestone is a reference point that project managers use to monitor progress and oversee the project. You can create a work breakdown structure from the top down or from the bottom up. A top down approach breaks the project into smaller task groups and then into individual tasks. A bottom up approach identifies all the tasks first, no matter how small, and then builds them back into a logical structure. Depending on the project, you might use either method or both. The objective is to build a structure that lists and describes all tasks accurately. To create a work breakdown structure, you must study the project very carefully. For example, suppose your team leader asks you to handle a software launch and gives you these instructions. First, reserve the meeting room. Then, order the marketing materials and brief the managers. After the briefings, send out customer emails and burn sample DVDs. When the emails are sent and the DVDs are ready, load the new software. When the marketing materials have arrived and the software is ready, do a dress rehearsal. You're a little concerned because everything seems to run together. Here are some tips to help you identify and organize the tasks. First, highlight the words that describe the tasks themselves. For example, reserve the meeting room, order the marketing materials, brief the managers, and so on. Now the tasks stand out, and we're ready for the next step. Next, change the paragraph format to a bullet list. Now number the tasks and create a table with columns for task number, description, duration, and predecessor tasks. Task duration can be hours, days, or weeks, depending on the project. The textbook explains how to use a formula to make a best-case estimate for each task. In this example, we'll just enter estimated durations. The result is a work breakdown structure. There's more to do, and we'll cover the next steps in other learning sessions. Microsoft Project is a powerful application that can help you plan and manage projects, large or small. In Part 3, you'll learn how to use Microsoft Project to display a work breakdown structure. Here we have entered the seven tasks. The program numbers each task and provides columns for duration, 
and predecessor tasks. The result is a work breakdown structure, which will define the project and generate a variety of charts and reports. You'll learn more about project management concepts and skills in the sessions that follow. In this session, you learned what a work breakdown structure is and why it is important, how to create a work breakdown structure, and how to use Microsoft Project to display a work breakdown structure. For more information, you can refer to the textbook or your student study tool. Now it's your turn to apply your skills and check your work. For background information, tasks to complete, and sample answers, go to the Management Information Systems Coursemate at www.cengagebrain.com. Select this text and navigate to the video learning sessions. Thanks for attending this video learning session.